In San Antonio, over the last three seasons, no boys soccer team has been better than the Lee Volunteers. The only thing missing is a state championship. Their fans and the community are hungry for greatness. It's going to be hard to deny them this season because they absolutely refuse to lose. You know, uh, being at Lee for four years and this being my last, I remember from my freshman year getting to the regional final and losing 1-0 to Reagan. It was a devastating loss. And sophomore year, we knew we had to come back. Our team was stronger, making it to the state final that year. And, you know, losing in PKs, uh, that's a game I will never forget for the rest of my life. And uh, losing to Flower Mound, I think, sparked the next year. And we were undefeated at 17-0-1, and, and then COVID hits. Been having our season cut short, and I think just the added motivation of the seniors couldn't, couldn't finish out what they wanted to last year gave us motivation to not only play for this year, but play for, play for last year and play for the year before that. I realized that you know this was the team you know it was our very last district game knowing that we went undefeated and uh, there hasn't been a lead team that has done that and that's when I knew like we can do it. We knew that we had to bring the energy that game. That's the team we lost to preseason, our only loss the whole season. But we come back and we play with intensity that I've never seen this team play, play with before. And we beat them 4-1, and I don't think they still don't realize what hit them that game. Oh, what a game. Uh, the biggest struggle in that game was probably our um, starting captain and uh, attacking mid, Fascio, who got his ankle hurt in the first half. You know, it, I just broke down, man. I, was, I wanted to play that game, and I knew that right when I got up that it would be really hard. When we were down 1-0, you know, my ankle was like the size of a softball, but I, I looked up and I saw all the fans there that had traveled to go watch us play. And I told the trainers that I wanted to go back in and they just taped me up, gave it everything I had with like 10 minutes ago. It gets flicked, it bounces in the box and you know, I slide and get a foot on it and it goes in. To see him persevere and come back onto the pitch and get a goal for us to tie the game and send us to PKs where we then won, it was, you know, it's true determination from him. It was one of the best moments of my life. Coach Rogers likes to say that he's addicted to state tournaments. You got the fans, you got the drum line, you got the passion. You know, the players are pumped up that, like they've never been. It's impossible to replicate unless you're actually there. Our principal, Mr. Crow, uh, gave us a little talk before, and he said he wore his money socks because he had so much confidence that we were going to win, and that really fired me up. As a former coach, you know, one of the things that we learned a long time ago is that you don't mess with the streak. and so. As administrators, we followed that as well. We made sure that we wore the same polo shirts to every single game as this red shirt that I'm wearing today. Personally, I listened to the same playlist to every playoff game. I listened to Stevie Ray Vaughn to every single game. Uh, Dr. Kel Wolfsburg rode with me to pretty much every game. We just kind of kept things 
the same all the way through because none of us want to be responsible for a loss. Um, at the end of that game, it was, it was just goosebumps, you know, knowing that we made it back to the state final after all that we've been through. And we did it for the seniors who didn't have a season last year is all I can say. In the second half, they were on us in the first 10 or 15 minutes uh, quite a bit. But like I said, our defense and, and keeper is probably the best in the state, and we didn't create too many good, good chances on us. And we ended up scoring, scoring our probably game, game stealing goal, a good cross, and a, a great header. And then after that, we just defended for our lives. When I saw the last 10 seconds on the clock and it was to, still 2 0, man, it was, I finally uh, felt accomplished and like. I did it for all the alumni that I had, you know, from my freshman and sophomore year, for all those seniors, my junior year, the seniors there. I did it for all of them because I know they wanted that state championship as well. As a team, you can't really explain how, how amazing it feels to win a, a state championship, and especially for the seniors this year, losing it two, two years ago and having their season cut off last, last year. It's just, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, 6A, 6A state champs, the first ever to do it from San Antonio. I mean, it was a true honor with these boys the last four years, and it was a pleasure, and I'm going to miss them. I thought to myself that night when I was going to bed, which I couldn't, I couldn't go to bed because I was thinking about the game, but um, I thought to myself that I'm going to be thinking about that game for the rest of my life. Um, I just want to say thank you to all, to all and every single one of you guys for supporting us and coming out. Lee community, uh, thank each and every one of you. We couldn't have made it this far. We couldn't have won this thing without y'all. We wanted to get Lee back on the map. First of all, I think we have the best fans in the state. I mean, they, they don't compare. You all mean so much to all of us, and we wouldn't be the players we are without your support. Our families, our parents bringing us to these games, you know, our upbringing, it's bigger than soccer, you know. And doing that send off, it, it almost felt like I was living in a dream because I've always dreamt of being a professional player and having so many supporters. Like just playing with that whole crowd behind your back just makes you play like 10 times better. You know, we couldn't get anywhere without uh, the support of the community. Uh, Lee alumni from the last 70 years and further back uh, came to support us. I say seven years, that's how long I've been here and I knew those guys personally and to see them after every game and of the playoffs and uh, with huge smiles on their faces and uh, it was like they were actually playing, and I think that Lee is one of the most loyal uh, communities I've ever been around, and just the best kept secret in Northeast ISD. We had over 80 game tickets donated to the campus for folks that might not be able to attend the game. It was really neat to see everyone come together. A lot of that was through social media. Uh, we had a lot of fun, even on my own personal Twitter, trying to get people engaged. There was always this sense of togetherness uh, with the league community and really across Northeast. Once we made it to the state tournament, you know, everybody would send us their well wishes. Uh, really, wherever I go, somebody's got something to ask me about the league soccer team. And so it's, it's an amazing time to be the principal here and to share in that with the soccer team and their coaches. You know, Joe is uh, probably one of the best photographers I've ever been around. And not only is a uh, good photographer, but man, what a great person. He's literally like family. And uh, with that Lee word being at the end of it. Uh, I think the influence Coach Roberts has had, has had on me since day one has been unbelievable. Uh, I don't think I would have improved as much as I have without him. Uh, my improvement from year one to year two to year three to year four has even probably surprised a lot of, not only me, but a lot of other people. And just the influence he has on the team in general is, He's a great motivator. He, he gets honest when he needs to. He knows what it takes, and he, he instills the confidence and the, the driven attitude. He's an amazing coach, you know, and he tries to get the most out of everyone. And 
every practice is hard. Uh, every game, uh, the halftime speeches, you know, pregame speeches, you know, he makes us want to go out there and play. He really helped us persevere through moments of adversity throughout the season, and without him, I don't think we would have won this year. For the boys to actually pull this off um, is a tribute to them. Um, I think it takes a strong will to win a state championship. After a four-year process of uh, five rounds deep or further runs, and that's 19 playoff games basically, and to finally get the job done after being so close is a bit of a relief and um, euphoric. It's kind of like the ultimate utopia right now. They're living their dream. At first, I want to say congratulations to the 2021 state champions at Lehigh School. What a great accomplishment that is. 50 years ago in 71, uh, same school won it in football. So uh, what a great accomplishment, especially for these seniors. Congratulations to them that persevered, stayed through the program, and uh, accomplished the ultimate goal. What a great uh, start to come and bringing back championships to Lee High School, and hopefully we have many more. And, and I can say that uh, to the fans, we want to create this in every sport. When I got here 11 years ago, I said we were going to win, uh, we were going to work to win district championships. Well, we have started to work in, towards state championships, and uh, so that goal has been uh, elevated quite some some bit by the soccer program and we need all the kids to get on board we need all the fans to get on board and fill the stands at every athletic event and i couldn't be more proud to be the athletic coordinator at lee high school the refuse to lose has kind of been uh, my mantra as the uh, head coach you have to hate losing more than you love winning not only in sports but in life you got to refuse to lose you're gonna have a lot of obstacles in life and if you just lay over people will run over you but if you tackle everything at 100% commitment and you put your desire into it, somebody that does that, a team that does that, is hard to beat. I just really want to thank everyone who supported the Lee Volunteer Soccer Team this season, whether it was through a donation, whether it was through a like on social media, whether it was just following our progress and wishing the boys good luck, from our feeder schools to our parents to the Northeast community, the support was just felt all the way through this playoff run, and we cannot thank you enough. And as a principal, I'm just so proud to see how everybody came together and backed this team uh, to help us become state champions.